Hello everyone. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am Devi Dinesh. I am a student pursuing PGE DAC at CDAC Khargar. I secured an All India rank of 24 in CCAT February 2022. I had joined SL Meta for my pre-CAT coaching. It helped me by giving me guidance and providing a structure to my studies. There was a lot of dedication involved in this fee and I am here today to share my journey while giving you some tips. Some of my concerns were lifted when I came to know about the structure of CCAT exam. It does not include writing long subjective answer nor does it require us to write huge quotes. So the next plan of action was tackling the programming part of the exam. The best way to prepare for this is by taking an unorthodox approach. I dedicated at least a couple of hours every day to write quotes. Try out different ways of writing the same program instead of revising theory repeatedly. This will help you master the logic and reduce confusion. I know now that coding is less about finding the favorable output and more about finding the solution to the n number of errors that may arise as we code. So don't shy away from intentionally modifying the code so that it could lead to errors. As a programmer, we should be aware of what can cause errors. This will help in solving the often confusing code snippets asked in the exam. Since we have to solve MCQ type questions in a limited time, we should train our brain accordingly so that it can perform well under pressure. Reading and constant revision is good but it may not give us the ability to pinpoint the answer in case of MCQ questions. So more emphasis should be on practicing MCQ type questions. I referred mainly to websites named Sandfoundry and IndiaBiz where I found several good questions of the same format. While practicing MCQs, remember that you should not look at the solution immediately in case you gave the wrong answer. Take a moment, try solving the question again Understand the mistake you made. Explore a bit more. Do a Google search about that topic. This will ensure a clearer understanding of the subject matter. But while doing this, remember the extent of our syllabus as well. You should not go too deep into the theory as it will make your job harder. Operating system is a vast theory based topic. Even if we try to get into every detail, we may still find more points to cover. But the fact is that detailed knowledge of this topic is not required for the exam. My approach was to refer the previous year's question paper. An additional calculator step that I took was to make a list of all the topics covered in this paper and try to know a bit more about the same topic. So if a paper had asked something about properties, I made sure that I learned about the application of those properties as well, just to be sure that I'm completely prepared for what might come. Aptitude plays a very important role in our ranking and there is no way around it. To build our speed, to improve the focus and to mold our intuition, we should practice aptitude regularly. For at least an hour, watch YouTube videos to find some tricks that would make your calculations and your life easier, especially for topics like mixtures and allegation, time and work and compound interest. Reading books and newspaper articles will help in increasing the reading speed which will be very useful in the comprehension part. While reading, find out the meaning of new words, their synonyms and antonyms and note it down if you feel you won't remember it. Sand Foundry and IndiaBiz also contains MCQ questions on English grammar as well. It is very helpful. You can also solve question papers of other exams like banking exams for aptitude and English preparation. Hard work and perseverance are required in every aspect of our life, but smart work helps us find focus, utilize time better, and leads us to our goals faster. Success is celebrated on a day, but it is not the result of a single day's work. Having a drive is important, but so is understanding the direction. Hope I was able to put a few points into a better perspective. So friends, there are no shortcuts for hard work, but smart work surely makes the work less hard. Thank you for your patience and I hope it was helpful. Bye-bye.